<laughs> Confessions of a 20-something romantic. One, I fall in love way too easy. This is not news for any of my friends, but for me, it is a surprise every time. I couldn't avoid infatuation if I saw it coming from a mile away, hot pink, and screaming. So please, the next time you see me talking about a boy like he will be my next forever, stop me. I am probably just hungry. <laughs> Two, when I am not in love, I am probably fantasizing about being in love or trying to convince myself that love is a social construct crafted by corporations so they can steal my money at Valentine's Day. <laughs> so they can steal my money at Valentine's Day. Or having an unhealthy amount of sex. This last one may sound like a flex, but I assure you, it is not. There is no fun in fun when no one stays when it is over. When the lights come up and the music stops and all I want to do is walk to the nearest park and look at stars. For the person lying next to me. I wonder at the amazing impossibility of two queer boys coexisting so contently on this queer space rock yeeting itself so perfectly between the sun and the vast nothingness of the cosmos. Three, I cannot stand water signs. But I will make myself the whole damn ocean if it gets a boy to notice me. Four, 40% of my time is spent looking up what all that means or how astrology works at all, or wondering what would happen if our sun sides collide, if our love would be supernova, or black hole, or heat death of the universe, what galactic irregularity it would take for our bodies to support worlds in between them. Five, when I'm not thinking about all of this, I'm probably looking for songs I think would be good at my wedding. <laughs> or wasting time on Grindr. Six, the first time I hit you up on Grindr, it will probably be under the pretense of sex, but I actually just want to cuddle instead. Seven, that's not completely true. <laughs> I probably still want to fuck, but like, in a wholesome way, like, when I wake up in the morning, you will still be there. And the light will hit your face in angles that don't exist. And you will glow holy. Every misplaced ethereal strand of hair a supplication, or a Lord's Prayer, or a good thing I don't deserve. Mm. Eight, I am so tired of being a hoe. Like how the fuck am I supposed to ride carnival rides by myself? Or take one of those cute fair photos where you and I are surrounded by hundreds of nameless people, but all the camera sees is us, and the way cotton candy sticks to all the wrong places. And we just laugh, like we've known joy our whole lives. <laughs>